are you today? It is Thursday, June 21st. Birthday Palooza, day 21. It's been a crazy day already. Uh, today was the penultimate day for school. Yay. Um, tomorrow, so tomorrow's our last day of school for the school year for one week, and then we go back to school tomorrow or next on June, blah, July 2nd for our new school year. So that's a, you know, whatever. But I have next week off. Yay. Um, so that was a busy day. It's, it's, uh, we're winding down. I finally am getting most of my paperwork done. I'm getting huge glare off my pasty face there. But anyways, we're going to go with it because we're already, we're already filming. So and I don't do double takes. Uh, so after work, I went to the Nimble Needle and visited with Karen. Uh, and I wanted to stop and the Nimble Needle. And I wanted to stop and pick up some supplies for our live video tomorrow night. So, uh, we're going to be giving some stuff away. So make sure you tune in tomorrow night for some exciting fun times for it. We're winding down Birthday Palooza. So uh, make sure you tune in for that. So we're giving some stuff away from that I purchased at the Nimble Needle today, as well as some stuff I have back in uh, my closet that I want to share because it's not just my birthday. We're celebrating a Palooza, which, thanks to people who used Google last night, Palooza means, and I should have looked this up before I actually came on, but, you know, I didn't do that. So, Palooza means an exaggerated event, like an all-out crazy party. So, Palooza, we are going to have an all-out crazy party, and some of you are going to be the happy recipients of a birthday present from me to you. So, make sure you tune in tomorrow night for that. Uh, so I can share the love, but also, I got some gifts here that I get to, I get to uh, share the love that people pass to me with you by opening them up here. But first, if you remember, I participated in the Midwest Cross Stitchers, the Midwest Cross Stitchers first smalls exchange. So we had to stitch a small patriotic piece and then we also had to purchase a small gift to go along with that uh, that small uh, piece that we stitched. So I got mine in the mail today. And mine came from Angie, which is Bub Mai on Lost Tube. So I will link her below. You should go check her out. Uh, she's at StitchCon right now. So I actually already got permission to show this all on uh, the channel because I wasn't sure if it was a birthday present or if it was my smalls exchange. So I, uh, and you know, sometimes people don't want you to open your birthday present until it's your actual birthday. So I message everybody to make sure that it was all right if I open it up early. Uh, but this is actually, geez, Angie, how much tape did you use? A from Angie for the Smalls Exchange. I think I got that good enough. I don't know. And sorry, I don't do this often. Sorry, not sorry, but I don't usually open packages on on the air. So 
What's going on with that? So we're just going with it here, people. Okay. Man, where's the front? How do I open this? Oh. Gerald be smarter than the box. Smarter than the box. There we go. Got a card. So I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm having a great week. Thank you, Angie. Okay. So, oh boy, we get to open presents. I don't even know what's what. So, so the the design, the thing was we had to get a small, we had to stitch the small, and then we had to have like a, I think it was a minimum of $25 uh, gift to give. She knows me well. Love it. And it's gold. So cool. Love it, Angie. And it's yellow tissue paper. You can't go wrong with yellow tissue paper. These feel like needles. Yep. Needles. And they're 28s. My favorite. Bow and needles. 28s. They will definitely be put to good use. I am one that's really bad with needles. I will use the same needle forever until it gets so bent that it's not really good. Where is... Root beer barrels. I haven't had root beer barrels in a long time. Did I have this on my list? I might have had this on my... On my um, suggestion list, which is odd because I do like root beer barrels, but it's been a very long time since I've had them. So this must be my stitch piece. And it's a pillow. Ah, oh, I like it. It's perfect. I would definitely put it in my set it out in my living room. Um, probably on my TV stand. Perfect. And it's perfect because it's Philadelphia and I live in Philadelphia. So thank you so much, Angie. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And this is, this is just a bigger version of Lila Studio, isn't it? The Let Freedom Ring Bell. At least it looks like it. Could be wrong. Love it. I like that. You know, it's always... Um, it's always hard to know if, you're, if the, what you're stitching is going to be something that the person is going to like or not. And I know I have very unique tastes, so I can only imagine what was going through Angie's mind whenever she got my name as far as having to stitch for me. So that is, I love it, Angie. Thank you. Okay. Two more from Angie. Now, we had to also provide our wish list on... One, two, three, stitch. And I already know what this is, and I'm excited. I've been wanting this pattern ever since it came out. This is the Vickery Collection World Globes. And I know that picture doesn't do it any justice whatsoever. 
I can't wait to stitch that one up. And just like any Vickery collection design, oh my gosh, look at all those DMCs. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And what else did I get? Oh, you did too much, Angie. But thank you. Ooh. Long dog samplers. This is my first long dog. Mrs. Le Jardin de Plaisir. I'm sure I just butchered that. Now, this only comes, this is only using, this only uses three, three colors. And they're all gentle arts. I put the, I, I do remember. At first I was like, did I put this on my wish list? Yes, I did. But guess what? I'm not going to do it in red. Mm -mm. Not going to do it in Buckeye Scarlet. Sorry, Nicole. Not going to do it in Buckeye Scarlet. I am going to do this using a probably a yellow and I know it has like cranberries or something on there mm -mm. I'm gonna do this with like a a yellow or a yellow berry and I'm probably going to do it on a uh, I might do it on a white or an off-white but definitely going to change the colors of the flowers to a yellow so my very first long dog sampler. Very excited about that. Thank you so much, Angie. I love everything. Okay, moving on. We have three more packages to open. Now, that was for the um, the secret stitcher exchange from the Minnesota, the Midwest Cross Stitchers group on Facebook. Now, I do believe Michelle is planning on having a one in the fall. So if you're interested in participating in something like that in the fall, um, check that out. So that's a lot of fun. I got an envelope from Danielle from Stitcherista. So thank you so much, Danielle. I feel just like you today with opening my mail on the air. Um, and she has foxes on the back. Putting those fox stickers see good use. Thank you, Danielle. Let's see what is in the envelope before I lose my light. This is such a Danielle card. Thank you. <laughs> Getting old is awesome, said no one ever. Yep. And she sent me a my very first Fiberlicious. I've never actually had a Fiberlicious, so that's exciting. Thank you, Danielle. And it's my colors. So that is fun. This is Shades of Gold by Fiberlicious. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I got a package airmail from Canada. I bet you can all figure out who that came from. Even though she didn't have to because I just saw her. So thank you Caroline before I, and I haven't even opened it yet. I hope I didn't cut it. Yep, I'm good. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I'll read the card later. Thank you, Caroline. And I'm just going to cut the paper, not the paper, the ribbon. I'm guessing. Ah. 
Very nice. I like it. There's something in it. This is a, uh, a notions tote, I think is what she calls it. A notions tote from Caroline from Evertotes, www.evertote.com. This is actually the, the liner fabric from the bag that I showed yesterday. Somehow I knew, I just, I had a feeling. I got my new favorite silk. Fiber art, uh, Planet Earth Fiber, six ply, Planet Earth Fiber. And she sent me Walnut 1166 and Noon 1041. Noon 1041. So that's exciting. Thank you, Caroline. Did you buy this in California? I think you did. I could be wrong, but I think you did. Thank you, Caroline. Love it. Did I say love it enough? This is turning into like the 13th. Love it, love it, love it. I gotta read the card. Okay, I gotta read the card. One more package. And this is from Uh, another one of our very own floss tubers. This is from Buckeye Stitcher, Nicole, who uh, is currently at StitchCon. Uh, did I get, I'm being trying to be very careful here, but I don't, I don't know what's in it. Okay, I think I'm okay. So I hope you all are having a great time at SitchCon. So I know this is an unusual video, but I just had to share this because, you know, this community is such an awesome group of people and uh, it's just fun. And I'm really appreciative of all of you, especially if you like, subscribe, comment on my videos. I love it already, Nicole. Got a card. I'm going to open the card because I think there's something in it, but I will read the card later. Or maybe it's just the card that's in it. You guys have to see this card. Did you did you make this card? Yes, handmade by her. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Look at that. You are very talented, Nicole. I'm going to have to put that up on my fridge or somewhere. I'll read the card in a little bit, but yes, handmade by, by her. Yay, gingers. And then, what did she send me? I'm assuming that's everything in the box. How cool. I'm getting a little bit of glare. Yep, that's not going to work. Look at that. That is almost too, too nice to drink out of. And it even has a little one on the inside. That is so awesome. Thank you, Nicole. I have a Geo mug.
Awesome. Thank you all very much for the birthday for birthday gifts. Now I'm not going to be able to get it back in. Very cool. Anyways, like I was saying before I opened up the gift and got distracted. Thank you all for liking and subscribing and following me on this adventure of Birthday Palooza as I am new to the whole vlogging experience. It's been a lot of fun. And like many of your comments have said, it's a lot of work, but it's worthwhile. And I think it's fun to to um, to share day to day occasionally. This is definitely not going to be an every, all, every day of the year type thing, but occasionally it is fun to share. And um, experience what it's like on a day to day basis in the life of a of a crafter and I know I I know I bring a little bit of a unique experience to the group just because of what I stitch and what I um, just my 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 thought process so I, I appreciate all of your likes and comments and subscribes if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so because tomorrow and make sure you click the bell because you need to be prepared for whenever I go live so you can get the notification so that you can be uh, ready to go for the, the giveaways and the fun and the mayhem that is going to commence on Birthday Palooza Day 22. So, day 23 we have uh, a visitor uh, and day 24 we have a visitor which day 24 is, you know, birthday palooza extravaganza. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So anyways, I want to thank you all again. Uh, I hope you are all having a great time. I am actually going to go stitch because I am inspired by all of these gifts. And I want to go stitch and watch some floss tube. So have a great night. I'm going to edit this and go stitch. And don't forget to always be creative. Catch you guys later. Bye.